Hello Geminis, how are you guys? Welcome back to my channel, thanks for tuning in. Um, those of you that are interested in booking your own personal reading, you can email me at claritygoddesstarot at gmail.com. Um, there's additional information below in the description box on how to set up your reading. You guys do know, of course, though, that this here is a general message, which means it may or may not be your situation. All of you are, you know, certainly not going through the same thing. So it's going to be different for everyone. Just take it how it resonates, okay? And also the energies could be the other person or yourself. You know your life, okay, Gemini? So you'll know what's resonating with you and what isn't, all right? So over here on the left, we got some past energy. Could have been the distant past, for some of you, others maybe more recently, but we've got the Three of Cups, okay, reverse. Some of you could have been dealing with a water sign, a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces. Um, you know, Three of Cups does represent a third party situation, but it doesn't necessarily mean cheating or, you know, another um, romantic partner being in the picture. It could represent friends or family, okay, but I see a falling out, all right? There's been some sort of disconnect here, okay? Or um, also someone maybe being a little bit isolated because in the upright, this card does represent very social activity, interacting with other people. And, um, you know, it's a pretty positive energy in the upright, but it's reversed here, okay? So somebody here has had some sort of falling out or some sort of uh, disappointing situation maybe came to an end here. We've also got the devil card. You guys could have been dealing with a Capricorn, okay, for some of you. This is about toxicity, control issues, narcissism, um, negative soul ties, uh, you know, addictions, that type of thing. Somebody was overindulging, drinking too much here with the Three of Cups reversed, okay? We've also got the Hierophant. You guys could have been dealing with a Taurus, okay, or this situation could have involved a uh, marriage here. But I see here where somebody need to make some changes and decided, uh, you know, to commit to that, to ending something here, okay? Because the devil is reversed. That's like turning over a new leaf and uh, releasing some toxicity, okay? We've also got the five of cups here, which represents loss, okay? Somebody feeling sorry, regretful, and, um, you know, this could be about sadness and disappointment here. Now, if you look at this person in this car, he's like literally having, uh, literally uh, pouring two cups out, okay? So he's emptying out two cups. So I do see here, again, that somebody had, <clears throat> excuse me, some sort of uh, drinking problem or some other kind of addiction, drugs, gambling, something that somebody needed to release or either just a toxic hazardous connection, okay? So let's come here into the center with what could be happening currently. We've got the full car here. You guys could be dealing with an Aries, <clears throat> excuse me, but this does represent a new beginning, taking a leap of faith, okay? But the full card can be, um, you know, the energy of someone who's kind of uh, naive as well, a little bit careless or reckless, but it also represents someone who's carefree too. So some of you, maybe you've gotten over this or this person has and somebody just kind of doesn't, oops, sorry. Somebody just kind of doesn't, uh, care anymore okay we've also got the uh king of swords here reverse yeah so you guys could be dealing with an air sign here a libra a gemini or an aquarius but this is someone who's emotionally unavailable or detached okay emotionally <clears throat> excuse me also kind of narcissistic a know-it-all a liar okay someone who is uh kind of harsh here so somebody could uh be getting cut out we've also got the five of swords deception okay mind game conflict selfishness all right, somebody who just, you know, wants to do what's best for them. And we've got the Page of Cups. So somebody, I feel, because this card can represent an apology, okay? Someone feeling kind of sorry about something. It could be, you know, a love offer of some sort coming in, some sort of communication. But I feel here that this person doesn't really mean it, okay? And they just are going to continue to do, you know, whatever it is that they're doing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now let's come on up here to the energy at the top. This is general, guys. So it could be you at the top or your partner at the top, okay? So it could be uh, switched around here. That's what I'm trying to say. So we've got the star reverse. You guys could be dealing with a uh, Aquarius, all right? So um, with the star being reversed, it's about disappointment, okay? A lack of faith, a lack of healing happening here. Somebody also could be dealing with some physical um, illness or symptoms here. We've also got the magician though, all right? So somebody still wants to manifest this situation. It could be some spell work going on as well. And we've got the Empress reversed. You guys could be dealing with a uh, Libra here um, or, um, you know, the energy of a mother figure is what the Empress is, but it's reversed, which could signify some sort of codependency going on, insecurities, and someone who's just um, too controlling or um, very dominant here, okay? Overbearing is uh, what I'm trying to say here. We've also got the Five of Wands reversed, yep, so... 
you guys could be dealing with a uh, fire sign in Aries, a Leo, or Sagittarius that, um, I don't know, maybe some of you are confused about this person and uh, maybe feeling a little bit internally conflicted about what to do. But I think that some of you, again, you're you're disappointed, but you may still want this situation is uh, what I see with that magician. But you just don't want any more conflict here either. Okay, with the five of wands reverse. Or either they don't, all right? Now, let's move on down here to the bottom. We've got the Six of Swords. So some of you, either you're moving on or this other person is. It's about leaving something behind, okay, that's not serving you emotionally. And I can clearly see that here in the past, okay? Um, so yeah, this uh, maybe you guys live at a distance or there's some travel happening. Someone could like literally be moving into a new house or, you know, maybe even a different state here. But we've got the Ten of Wands Reverse letting go of a burden okay something that's been very challenging here and somebody's releasing it i think it's going to come as a shock though to someone here in this whole mixture because the uh tower is about a shake up all right um some sort of um upset upheaval change transformation that needs to happen and somebody's got to narrow down their options here okay with the seven of cups reverse this person may be a little bit confused but Whoever this is, somebody's um, trying to make some changes here, all right? And it's going to shock someone is what I'm really seeing, okay? And um, let's come on over here to see what could be uh, happening in the near future, okay, with some potential outcome energy. We've got the Two of Pentacles reversed. Yep, could be dealing with an Earth sign, a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. Some of you, the situation may revolve around work, okay? Keep in mind, guys, this may not be about romance or love for all of you watching. It could be about family or friends, but someone's had some sort of juggling act going on here, and somebody's getting caught is what I see, or either uh, dropping somebody because we also have the Seven of Swords here. It's about running away, okay? Deception, doing things behind people's backs, um, cheating, lying, and uh, turning, uh, you know, a person turning their back here. We've also got the Six of Pentacles reversed. Yep, this is selfishness. Someone being selfish, the um, situation is in balance. Maybe this person is giving more to other people, or maybe you are. Um, this also could be about child support is what I'm seeing. And we also have the Moon card reversed. Could be done with Pisces, but something could be uh, being revealed here. Okay, something coming out into the open, or somebody's just coming out of... Um, you know, a period of not seeing things clearly is uh, what I see. All right, guys. So I did pull some Oracle messages. Some of these may resonate with you guys, but starting off here, we have stay optimistic about your love life, positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Yeah. So I do see optimistic energy here in the spread. All right, guys, with the uh, full card being here again, this represents having, um, you know, want to take a leap of faith. It's very optimistic energy. All right, so <clears throat> I think the spirit is saying here, regardless of whatever this is that you went through in the past, that's important to kind of stay, you know, in a lighthearted energy. I know that's a lot easier said than done, but, you know, some people, you know, they get one bad experience or a situation, it really turns them bitter and, um, you know, kind of scared to uh, get involved with people in the future. So spirit is saying, stay optimistic, okay? Don't don't um, treat everyone the same or, you know, everyone's not the same, Okay. Uh, we also have this could be the one and it says you've already met the romantic partner that you seek. Yeah, so some of you, um, you may feel that this person is the one or maybe they feel that you're the one. Okay, but based upon a lot of this energy here, um, I'm not so sure. <laughs> okay, guys, because this uh, all this here in the back, this represents a lot of deception here and um, heaviness. All right, somebody dealing with um, addictions and codependency issues. And then the seven of swords, of course, is not really good either. All right. But I mean, who am I to say? Maybe they are the one. Maybe you guys are still with this person. Maybe you guys are just going through a moment here. OK, now we also have pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Yep. Yeah, they are. OK, because, again, the full card is here. Like I said earlier, this represents the energy of someone who's very naive. So someone here is just either choosing not to see reality or, um, you know, I don't know, turn the blind eye here or just doesn't understand what could be going on but clearly there's uh deception here all right now we also have isis here and it says past life so it says here this situation involves your past life memories yeah this could be someone from your past life probably a soulmate twin flame type of connection some of you have here okay we've also got lakshmi and she says bright future stop worrying everything is going to be fine yeah so some of you 
like I said, this may not be anything super serious, okay? This could just be the energy for a couple of days here or just a moment you and this person or these people are having, okay? Someone, again, may be doing something deceptive. It may not necessarily be cheating, though, guys. It could be, a, you know, a lie or something like that that you guys can overcome. But somebody is holding back is what I see as well with the Six of Pentacles, okay? So try not to worry too much about this or let this uh get you down here okay because i do see disappointment all right guys so try to overcome that and get back into your power here with the magician all right now we also have Aishel and she's the medicine woman she says you are a channel for divine healing power yep with the star card but it's reversed here all right guys so in the upright the star card is all about healing renewal having faith okay optimism and, um, you know, spirit is saying it's time for you to step back into your power here. Maybe you're, maybe that's your calling. Um, I don't know. It could be something in the medical field. Maybe some of you work in the medical field here with the uh, medicine woman, or maybe, <clears throat> excuse me, your calling is for you to do something else that involves healing other people or helping people. I don't know. Maybe a spiritual um, journey or path some of you are supposed to be on here. Maybe you haven't um, been uh, listening to your inner self is also what I'm picking up with the star card there. But, you know, others of you, maybe you are, you know, enlightened and you understand that. But some sort of healing needs to happen here, either within yourself or you, you know, helping and healing other people. All right. Maybe. I don't know, being a YouTube uh, tarot reader or something of that sort. All right, guys, so if that resonated, feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe, okay? Also, if you need um, your own personal reading, you can email me at claritygoddesstarot at gmail.com, okay? I wish you guys the best. Take care.